Oh, there's your camera. There's one there, and then oh. there's one here. Hi, camera. Let's see if this works. Because it doesn't like to work too often. YouTube. All right. It says we're live. Let's see if we can. There's one there, and then there's one here. Oh, that sounds really good. It does. My voice is always gross, <clears throat> though. So. I'm going to share this. <clears throat> I don't even see people. Oh, you use your phone. Oh, okay. I'll do the same. We have the technology. I have Wi Fi, too, if no one needs it. I totally need. <laughs> Matt Gear 16. I see your. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice mirror reflection so that when I move my arm to the left, it goes to the right on the screen. Beautiful. Post. <laughs> Malone. <laughs> <laughs> copyright. <laughs> there's, a copy, ah! there's a copyright strike right there. I it's just, fine. I'm not monetized. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, after we talk like two minutes in, it's gonna be demonetized <laughs> anyway. Oh man, uh, Alec Bourne's in here. Oh god, what's he gone and bought now? Audio's good, guys. Cutter Savage is in here. Nice. What's up, dudes? So this is Darren, guys. Darren's a good friend of mine. Um, I try to be, anyways. Yeah, I mean. He would be a lot cooler, but he plays these stupid, what are these, chicken picks? Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty nice once you play with them for 30 years. and Yeah, my dad said it's one of those things that you put one of those guns that shoot like those discs at people. Yeah, like the that's what discs? The, yeah, that's basically what that is. It's a weapon. Yeah. I could tie that to the end of a stick and use it as a spear. Yeah, it kind of looks like an ancient, like, Indian... <laughs> yeah, like, mammoth killer. That's what I call it. You know, it's the mammoth killer pick. All right, so Darren, what are we doing today? Because uh, I don't even know what we're doing today. I don't even know what we're doing today. What did you bring in your bag of oh. shame? <laughs> lots of lots of parts, and it's going to look terrible. Uh, do you know what this is, guys? This is a Kramer. Uh, this is the 1984. And um, it's, like, based on the Beretta. But it wasn't an actual guitar back in the 80s. It's supposed to be kind of like Eddie Van Halen's guitar. It's... As far as the headstock and the body shape goes. As far as the looks go, yes. Yeah. But it's very modern with a FRT 1000. You have the D2 now in yours? Yeah, I, was, I know I've been meaning to try out that Tone Vice uh, thingy, the pitch shifter, I think they call yeah, it. Yeah, people are um, people are having problems with those, though. So, I mean... Oh, so there's no good one out yet? <laughs> well, I, I mean, for this, I think it worked great. But for um, a buddy of mine that works at Gibson, he... Uh, has the FRX system on his guitar. So, you okay. know, it kind of like, it's to convert like an SG or a flying, anything with a stop tailpiece with the the two part tunematic. Okay. You can retrofit it with a locking nut and then that kind of just like he goes on. The thingy. Yep. So then you have a Floyd Rose and this won't work on there. The D tuna won't work because. Yeah, that's what I heard though. They don't work on it. Well, the, the, the tone vice should work. Okay. But the problem is, when you go to clamp down your nut, using the tone vice thing, like, when you clamp your nut, it goes sharp. Right. And you can't adjust this when you have the tone vice no. on. So, you're stuck. You're stuck, yeah. I mean, you have to, like, finagle with your nut and make, kind of, like, make sure it's, like, like detuned flat before yeah. you... Yeah, so it's, it's kind of dumb. I, I, I hope they figure something out there. But what are we doing to this? That one's actually the simplest job. It's just um, I wanted to put one of these YGM um, low friction volume pots in it, the 500K version. That's what I use. So the uh, EVH ones I do like, but they don't allow to fit the, uh, what do you call it, vintage like Stratocaster style knob. And just the looks on this guitar, I put that red one on there because it just kind of fits the, the look I'm going with on it. Dude. So, I just got the YGM, because A, he uses it, so he said they're pretty good. They're great. And B, it's like pretty much the only one, kind of, I don't know, like, you'd be surprised that there's not that many, like, high-speed volume pots out there for some reason, <laughs> like, this is like... That's the one. The YGM and the EVH are the only two, like, I'm familiar with. So, you guys are going to be able to watch me work today. <clears throat> um, I have a camera set up. 
Sorry. <laughs> I have a camera set up right here, so you're going to be able to uh, follow along and stuff. Um, unfortunately, Darren's not going to be on screen the entire time, but you're going to hear him the entire time. Which is terrible in itself. So I'm just having a few Bud Lights, and Darren's going <laughs> to... Darren's doing cocaine today. I called him, and I was like, where the hell are you at, dude? And he was like, I'm at Leo's Coney Island. And I was like, Leo's? I was like... He's like, yeah, I'm doing meth, too. Well, uh, I think it was supposed to be heroin, but I mean, crystal meth is great, too. I love meth. Yeah. So. The Nazis used it in World War II, so it's got to be something. Is it. that factual? That is factual. It was a drug called Pervitin. Literally, Pervitin. Pervitin. Yep. So, this so, the history this, it, lesson. Anyway. I'm sorry, dude. No, 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 you're fine. So you, you do not want to... Okay, so a feature of this guitar is it has a push-pull pot. So when you pull it up, it splits the coil, and it sounds more like a, more like a neck pickup, really, or a single coil. More like a single coil. It's it's great for, like, um, songs like Poison. I use it for yeah. Poison, um, Unskinny Bop, that dun 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 because it sounds, like, really thick. It it's sounds thick, stratty, yeah. like country almost so where it's got but, that twang but you're for, forfeiting that because you don't use it yeah i use it on cleans once in a blue moon when i'm playing around but it's not my favorite i'd rather just have a single coil guitar like you know the uh, 211 or something like that yeah not my favorite it's not bad if you people like it you like it but i love it adds i mean because i use neck pickups though so the the right. neck pickup is just as important as the bridge pickup in my opinion well, oh yeah. But I can see, I mean, for a guitar like this and the stuff you play, just going direct to the output jack like we're going to be doing. Right. It's like the most true to EVH way. Not that I have to stick to his rules. On, I always keep looking at the computer, but fuck, I should just look at the camera. <laughs> anyway, not that I always have to have it like Eddie Van Halen, but it's just what I've Basically what I grew up, you know, like how I got into guitar was just, you know, trying to be like him. So it's just the most familiar to me. Oh, we got Tone Talk in here, dude. Oh. Dude, uh, Hi. yeah, I hope you're feeling better, dude. Like, yeah, he's I heard sick. he was sick. That, that sucks. I hope you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's just, it's that time of year where everybody just gets like the worst possible illness ever. And it just sucks. And thank God I'm not at college anymore, because usually that, that bubonic plague likes to go around college pretty quick. And you start taking tests, and people are, like, dripping snot all over the place. It's just disgusting. College is gross, okay? It's not fun. It's not educational. It's just gross. What did you learn in college? Uh, how to take the... Um, what did you go to school for? Human biology. And I learned uh, lots of things, but I can't really tell you all of it because our American education system's like, as long as you pass the test, you're fine. If you forget about it afterwards, it's okay. But somewhere in there, I learned how to take the derivative of a, I don't know, something calculus. So I don't know. Rock stars aren't smart, and they're pretty cool, so I don't know. Yeah. Name a rock star that's smart. We'll wait. Well, Not me. <laughs> Maybe like Brian May from Queen. He's like an astrophysicist or something. He should have probably just done that with his life. I mean, damn, how many astrophysicists play guitar? I mean, Jesus. Here, I'm going to move this microphone a little bit so that way it picks you up more. Oh, yeah. I'm probably quiet as fuck. But you don't want to hear my voice. My voice is gross. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, um, <clears throat> we already, uh, see, look at that, guys. Do we have more people watching? Uh, we have four people watching. Oh, wow. That's more people that... I think the only time I ever played live, like two people were watching me, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm, I want to make sure that this switch is over before I continue. It's my biggest crowd ever. Four. Four? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, they could totally see it. It's uh, You could see that, right? Yeah, I can totally see it. I want to make sure that, because I know somebody's going to complain and be like, oh, I couldn't see a single thing you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> what, Old Man Jenkins watching this damn live stream too? Old Man Jenkins, <laughs> I couldn't see a single... Well, put your bifocals on, dude. I know. Oh, fuck. I, that's why I wear mine. 
I can't see shit if it's like more than 300 yards out. I, I mean, it, I don't know. It's, you know, my doctor was like, yeah, your vision fucking sucks at distance, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was in high school and they make us do those vision tests and I was like one of the kids who had to like redo it because, yeah, because they were like, yeah, your vision's screwed up and then after that I had a... I, in order to drive, I have to wear these stupid things. So, life is retarded. Can't say that on here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are uncensored, so please remove all children from the room while you're listening to this on your surround sound porn room or something. Darren, did you want to sign a waiver? <laughs> For what? I'm just kind of like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's carving my guitar away. It's beautiful. Darren's white. I mean, good lord. I can just take that white out stuff and just plaster it on there. I mean, come on. Everybody knows Eddie Van Halen's guitar is like the coolest looking guitar, but when you see it up close, it looks like a pile of garbage. So, hot garbage. Yep. Yeah. The paint on here is really thick. I know this is the the pre modifications to the eighty fours that they're gonna do this year. I think, right? I don't know. I thought because this is a maple body, I, I believe it is. I think they said they were gonna switch to alder or something. They were gonna make them lighter weight because this the eighty four it was like deceiving when I picked it up from Motor City Guitar. I was like, the first thing that caught me was when I picked, you know, single humbucker guitar. I thought it'd be really lightweight. <laughs> you know, like even that new EV8 Shark that came out, that thing weighs like two pounds and you would think it would weigh like 11 pounds, but it weighs like nothing. So guitar companies like screwing with you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating. No, you're doing the work. I'm just trying to keep people entertained, but I'm probably annoying them at this point. <laughs> I hope more people join. I know. It's, let's get a party going. An Xbox Live party. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Old school style. Dude, I used to go to school and then... ...go to bed until like super late. I mean, yeah, my family was too cheap to get real internet, and we still don't have real internet at our home, but... You have fake internet? Yeah, we have the 20 gigs of ha ha uh, high speed. You have the Alibaba Express yeah, internet? Yeah, and then when we run out of that, it's like no internet for you until the next billing cycle. Really? Yeah, it's terrible. So it's like, from, like is it like a cell phone service? Yeah, it's through AT&T, and I don't care, I'm gonna slander the shit out of them right now, but... Um, yeah, they give us this garbage... Sponsored. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they give us 20 gigs of high speed a month, and they tell us that's their biggest plan or whatever. I don't understand it, but phone companies are just a rip-off, so... I, I I don't know. If I start talking about it, I'll probably start yelling and people just go away. Do you guys like how he's reaming the hole on that? <laughs> it's going to be a snug fit, that's for sure. Do you guys like it watching holes get drilled? Is this what you came to YouTube for? Do we have any uh, <clears throat> stupid, stupid phone? Yeah, well, I could, I should. Oh, watch. dude, we got Phil in here. Oh my! Phil's been watching a lot, dude. What's up, guys? So goal here. How was the stock Floyd on the 1984? Um, it's actually an FRT 1000, dude. So it's good, like. And these guitars only go for like six ninety nine new. I think. dude, they're like four ninety nine. I know if you're getting one of the older models, they're discounted, like on American Musical Supply. I think so. So they have a couple left or some business like that, and they marked them down. New eighty fours coming out do have. They have the same like uh, hardware. They didn't change the hardware really, but just the. The body material, I think, is the only 
the FRT 1000s, which is like awesome. It's just so <laughs> country of origin is different, but that's it's... true too. That's true. As long as it holds up and it's good, but yeah, I think that's like the main. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I th yeah, Cutter. I'm pretty sure that you can find them for like four ninety nine new, right? I, I think I, I saw them on a few places. I think sure about that one, but. Finish. I mean, I know it's just basic white, but you can. I'd put gold on there. Like, if yeah. I Guitar, not. Oh, look. This is Philip McKnight with Sharp and My Axe. <laughs> 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 if you want to get in the fun, Phil. Yeah, Phil's Phil's great. <clears throat> Question for you. Huh? Look up the Seymour Duncan. <laughs> oh my god! Because <laughs> I forgot it. Oh. I'm used to yellow being hot. I don't have. I need the Wi-Fi, and I don't know if you want to yell your password. Really? Let me see. Sorry, guys. How was <laughs> you? I went to college for four years. I'm done. White, red go together. And then green is hot. Uh, I'm trying to still search it. Audio is definitely cutting out. We muted it, folks. Unless it's cutting it in and out now, but... Yeah.
try this. Derek, am I into the live chat now? If mode preset is switched, you change back to normal. All right, let's see if they can hear me now. Hear us. Because <clears throat> this thing is like totally, I think it's because it's connected to this hub. I have a USB hub, guys, and <clears throat> I should have gotten it from. Ah! You should have got it, got it from there. I label everything in my house. All right, did you find the wiring? Yeah. What is it? Uh, well, of course this one doesn't tell me. <laughs> I thought I had it. Never mind. Why doesn't this thing just tell us? Just look up Google Seymour Duncan wiring schematic. I did. Oh, wire colors. Sorry. Oh, wire colors. Legend. <laughs> Legendary. always pisses me off. All right, how's the audio? Can you hear us? 351, no sound, buddy. But that it's been two minutes, minutes ago, ago, which I resolved it within that time. Oh, okay. Well, this is not helpful, Google. I mean, that's still working, and it's coming up on OBS. I know, that's why I thought it was still working. I mean... Oh, it's working. It's okay, totally working. Anyway, it's working. Aha! Aha! Yes. I've been doing this Abraham Lincoln voice a lot lately. Is it fun? I mean, this it's... thing. Once Google is not helpful at all. Jesus Christ. Or whatever God you pray to. Yeah, no, we we got that. We got that. Dude, this is not accepting solder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't understand it. These wires usually accept solder. Oh look at this. There's this giant I found a nice giant thing that says Yeah. And then okay. That's all I needed to know. He's smart, I'm not. Dude, I have not wire to Seymour Duncan in a while. And wiring into Marzio's and the Job Tone stuff, they all have different colors. I don't, well, that's the thing. It's, I mean, Seymour Duncan's probably the universal, but. <laughs> yeah. It should be like standardized. You would freaking think. Of course, though. I didn't think we were going to do the 84 first, but I did bring. Oh. That's a Job Tone. Oh. The one that a certain individual we all know and love held. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Damn you, YouTubes. Oh, you're back. I really don't want to screw this up. What if that just ruined the show? Just plug in my guitar after all this time and it just catches on fire. I'll be just as good as Ace Freely by then. Okay, that's easy. Oh, I love the smell of solder. You get used to it after a while. Yeah. It's only going to kill my reproductive system, but what does that matter? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Free vasectomy! Yeah. Or give me brain damage, one or the other. We still have seven people watching. I can't Good. believe that. Yeah. Good. Seven people can tolerate my voice. I mean, they're all here for you. I think they're here because they want to try to learn something, Darren. Or they're ju they're just thoroughly entertained with. But learning is 
Learning is terrible. I just, I just got done saying Knowledge it. is power. Have you, have you ever seen Schoolhouse Rock? I have, and it... it yeah, Schoolhouse Rock was right. But on the same note, don't waste your money on a degree. <laughs> you know that $7,000 Gibson Les Paul you saw at Guitar Center last week? Just go spend your money on that. Probably more, probably worth the investment. Re resaleability? Resellability? Phil Mosley Music is here too, I think. Yeah, we... dude. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. I have to see everybody who's here. <laughs> Now that my phone's working. All right, Darren, I need your finger. All right. Press, press this wire down onto the pot, like here. I need to, I need this part to touch the pot. Okay. This is surgery. So you want to? You don't want to solder to. Oh the... my fucking god, that's getting hot. <laughs> that's so hot! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right. Rule number one: Don't be a pussy. Well, fucking rule number two, I'm a guitar player. This is my, well, this isn't my fretting hand, thank God. But I got it. I didn't need you. Yeah, I know. No one ever does. <laughs> oh. Whatever we do, don't, or whatever you do, don't cut the red wire. Always cut the red wire. Yeah, always cut the red wire. Fuck it. Wait a second. Okay. We good. All right. Can you please, please just stay there? <laughs> www.staythere.com. <laughs> Is that like a restraining order website? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. That was a crisp, that was a crisp heat on my middle finger. <laughs> how did it change, how did it affect your life? Drastically. It's like when Spider-Man got bit by the spider, I got burnt by a heated wire, so now I'm Wire Man. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, let's make sure this stupid thing works. Oh, I love stupid things. <clears throat> Look at all that crackle. Dude, you need that Def Leppard Black Star. What oh, the... yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Good. That's... <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, so something is clearly wrong. Or is it? Did it not ground right? How is this wrong? Oh, maybe it's the cable. Or maybe it's just the ground. <clears throat> I might need to solder this log to the pot, I think. That's okay. what I gotta do. So, that's usually what I do anyways. Need gas. Alternately, what I could do is... Did that come undone? No. It's on there. No, it's on there, yeah. do what I typically do. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So stay. And then I can just do this. Which is what I do per use.
Don't they say that dead air time on videos is like the number one thing that kills YouTube videos? I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Done. Hooray. All right. So. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, maybe I should show the class my work. Yeah. There you go. I can't see it because of that. Stupid. I, yeah, no, my, oh my, oh. I forgot that there's a curved headstock on that thing. Pretty. So, yeah, simple. I don't know why that was harder than it needed to be. Maybe it's because last night, guys, I went out and uh, we drank a lot, but we Ubered, so it's fine. And this is my first weekend off from Rockstar. Wow. And forever. Since, uh, yeah, Rockstar has just been busy. Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> We're busy bees. I, I guess. Keeping the whole world pollinated with heavy metal. Yeah, that's what we try to do. Any questions or comments or concerns? There's probably a few concerns in there. <clears throat> no, there's actually no concerns other than Chris said that maybe we forgot the ground cloth. But we... That's been v validated. So there's a, there's a log on the back of the... I always run the, so between the, the output jack here and the back of the pot, there's, oh, I can show these guys. I have tons of parts. So what I do is I either always ground this, like I'll bend it and then ground it, or I'll run the wire coming from my output through this and I'll solder it here and on the back of the potentiometer. But I didn't do that. Didn't do it at first. Yeah. But hey, it's an Ooh. easy fix. Yeah. No big deal. And it saves wire. You don't need to uh, waste a bunch of wire. So this yeah. one's done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> this thing about Kramer guitars, they're actually weapons too. All right. What's next? Well, what, what do you want to tackle? I mean, probably the biggest job is just going to be taking that. The nuke. Yeah. The satchel is just a. I think it's setup problem that I can't quite figure out. A Michael Lee album? What the hell? Michael Lee Perkins? Yeah. Dude, this guy shreds. Oh, okay. <laughs> you never heard it? Honestly, no. I was just making a remark. Oh, dude, amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of what song that is. It's just freaking outstanding let's see here dude you must have like the coolest record store around here i can't find no dark. dude i go all over the place and I, i'll stop in i just i can't find shit <laughs> i picked up a uh, high and dry death leopard today and like that whole system there for 50 bucks yeah i, I know you, and this it's just that's nuts like i got a matching it's all technique stuff and that's like looks like new and he's i know i was just gonna say that it does look in good shape yeah all right next guitar you pick yeah let's do the new because that was gonna be the most interesting or whatever you want to call it we gotta put well we're putting one of the y jams in there right yeah to get rid of the the emg one i forgot which one i put the fucking new All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm trying to think what I need. I don't think I need anything. All right, let's see what we got here. In terms of viewers and comments, we have eight people watching. Oh damn! Dude, bands in here. That's a that's a repeat watcher viewer. Margera? No, no, he's oh. he's like in rehab or something. He he just got a hold of Doctor Phil. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't get and he's trying to get clean and stuff. Oh, well, good on you, dude. We're gonna blow people's minds right now. I know we're gonna. Oh, oh yeah, we are. I mean, they've already seen mine, but like, but you never see two in the wild like this. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it, they look just like yellow because it's not color corrected. But these are like highlighter yeah. yellow guys. Yeah. 
literally. Oh, oh man, that's so nuts. And they're like reversed headstocks of each other, like so. We gotta take pictures later before we go. I know, for real. Take a screenshot. This will <laughs> never happen again. <laughs> Lightning never strikes twice. Yep. That's from um. That's Huey Lewis in the news. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I need more coffee. I, I don't really drink coffee. I did this morning. I had a giant mega monster thing, mega, you know, with a cap on it, because my new job has me addicted to them, so I can stand on concrete for 10 hours and hate myself. So what, I put these pickups in this guitar, why are we taking them out? Because EMGs, I found out, are just not for me. Why? Why? There's something very artificial sounding about them. It'll at first you it won't. I don't know if you've never had EMGs before. Ooh. Um, you'll kind of not notice it at first, and then all my other guitars are passive, obviously, because I've never had them up until now. This, and I switched between the two, and there was like this weird, like frequency. I don't know how to explain it other than that, that EMGs give off. And it wasn't really the neck pickup that I chose for this. I think that's the uh, HA, right? Yeah, we did like some weird combination. We did like the, 81 and... Uh... We did the 81 and the HA because I wanted like the Red Beach kind of setup. And that's what he runs. He runs the eight, the classic 81 EMGs. They sound great though. They sound good, but there's just something that wasn't working for me. And it just, it came down to... The EMGs just sounded fake to me. It was weird. It almost was like playing through a modeler almost. Dude, I did a pretty good job on this. Yeah, you, you've made that look beautiful. It's, it's not your fault that the EMGs don't work. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I kind of want to take a picture of this, though. Just and do it. Just so I can remember next time I go to install EMGs. Always, If you're rewiring your guitars, guys, always try to do your best to take pictures of everything. And then you can always go back to where you started. And actually, while I'm doing the teardown, because these guys don't really need to see that, I'll show you your beautiful face a little bit. Yeah, my face is horrifying. But uh, let's see the comments. I did an 18 volt mod on this. They might want to see that. Yeah, do that. Show them that. Yeah, so basically, I think series? Yeah, I think that's in series. Yeah. One goes to the output jack, which is a stereo jack. And then the other one goes to the board here so you can sell this set like just as is yeah i i I think i'm probably gonna get rid of them put them on reverb but phil bam and chris all basically say that they're not a fan of them either (laughs) yeah i mean i i never really have been for you know we already discussed it but yeah it's just it was something new at the time this was just last year i had this he did this for me and then I it took snaps. just a little over a year. It took about a year for me to be like, wow, I absolutely don't like these at all. So yeah. it it was fun for a couple months. And then for a few months, I kind of just put up with them. But now it's been at the point where it's driving me crazy. Yeah. I feel you. Stepping up some wires. Uh, so we are putting in, we're going to use the same switch then, right? I suppose, if you can. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't. And then this that was the only just... thing I was, I think I might have forgot on my shopping list before I came here. That's <laughs> no, all good. I don't think Guitar Center really carries nice switch craft stuff. No, anymore. they, it's all parts. <laughs> which, I mean, it's not. Well, they have genuine Gibson branded parts, which is standard. Right, yeah. Which, and again, not, not that all parts are bad, it's just like. Maybe not the most, in my experience, the most, um, I don't know, long-lasting parts ever sometimes. <laughs> Definitely see what you're saying. Phil says, you got to try things out to know for sure. Uh, to know for sure, though. Nothing is wasted if you learn that it's not for you, which is, that's true. So the hundred and some odd dollars I spent to get these EMGs wasn't for 
nothing. It was it was a learning experience, that's for sure. So yeah, you get that's a different you get a different feel, and this guitar is like a different feel from what I would normally play, anyways. And I do like the way the guitar is. It does. I need to adjust the setup a tiny bit. I don't. There's something a little funky about it, but the guitar is fine. It's just the the EMGs did not um, prove a time worthy. <laughs> Addition to my I could pretty much keep so. these. Oh, you could. In, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're making quick work of this. <clears throat> you know what you sound like? Have you an old man? Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever played um, Super Mario sixty four? Like once. There's like these blocks that like slam down <laughs> and they go when they, they try to squish Mario. I don't know. I'm probably getting sick or something because I just better not get me sick. I'm not. I'm joking. I just <laughs> I clear my throat all the time. Just let me clear my throat, dude. You have an EVH bridge on here now. Oh, you did swap it. That's yeah, I did. Yeah, I took, I, that was from um that was from the Stealth uh, Wolfgang. I put a. A real 84 bridge, like the um, 1984 Floyd Rose is what they call it, on those stealth. And then I they have that EVH bridge sitting around. And just because that one is slightly better than the one that was on it, obviously. Yeah. I just put that on there. But now my stealth is even torn apart because I took that bridge off of that and put it on my red, white, and black EVH because that Floyd on it was acting up. So now my stealth is just a husk <laughs> and it's a great guitar and i feel bad that it's sitting like that but it's a husk i don't want to ask you for your trim arm oh shit mine's in the uh, box <laughs> this is the real Guitar tech way. <laughs> oh, so Phil's asking what's on the fretboard. Those are a, um, they call them neck illusions, and there's, that's literally what the company's called. It's neck illusions, and basically it's a fretboard protector, but it also, like, uh, makes the fretboard feel, like, smooth. It's weird, but you get these cool designs on it. And this one I chose, I think it's called Biohazard or something like that. I don't like how it hangs over. I'd cut this down. I know. I You're supposed to, the last one you're supposed to cut down, but my... Then it, what, what it, the fuck happened, Darren? I don't know. It just did not, my X-Acto knife just failed me hardcore. So you I might don't. need a new glasses, like eyeglass prescription. No, I Because this might, is like literally a millimeter of overhang. I know, but I just, I stuffed it over. For, I don't know. I'll cut it later. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, my X-Acto knife skills are apparently garbage, too. But, um, yeah, so what you do is you get the uh, set from... Take that ring off. You get the set from Neck Illusions, whatever one you like, and they usually just come with 24, so that you can... I don't know, I think maybe there is an option just to get 22 uh, covers if you want it. But, yeah, and you can get a custom one, too. You can get, like, your name... Or some saying that fits, you know, within the limits of a guitar neck. So they're neat. It's cool. It makes it play kind of smoother, too. So I thought I'd try it out. They're fun. Not something that's a necessity by any means, but it was fun to try out. So that's a harness. You can actually plug this right back in. Like, if you I want. Would... Ever. Pro probably not, but I'll just... I mean, if you ever, like, come up... Like, if, if you want to experiment, you can always go back to it. And throw, like, different pickups in there and stuff. I'll sell it to some kid. <laughs> hey, man, you want some EMGs? You want a wiring harness, kid? Uh, what's going on here? What? Oh, Christ. You don't know, do you? I do. So, the one with the, um... This is the EVH Frankenstein. This is the Wolfgang neck. That's the bridge. So you want these? Might as well. That's a Seymour Custom Custom. That's the tell has jokes on, obviously. And where's the other volume pot? There. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're putting in... What if I set your screwdriver? What the fuck? <laughs> it's in your hand. Is it? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I need Darren's, help. Darren's I, standing here. I need a screwdriver. I need help. It's in his hand. I need help. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm the one having beers. You're over here just like I'm just constantly. Dr- I am the liquor. Okay. All right, Jim. Mr. Yeah. Leahy. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're putting in S H E V H. This is made by Seymour Duncan. Yeah, it is. So this is an E V H we're throwing in there, and then we're also putting in, dude. This is from China. I know, but that is the Wolfgang pick. That is a Wolfgang one. This looks like uh, dog ass. It's what they cut. It's right. stamped with the E V H thing on it, so they were approved. <laughs> they it sounds good. Those I don't know. I don't care what you say. Uh, you actually don't need to take that off if we're oh. going to use these rings oh that's true <laughs> i could probably just use these rings cool cool i hope i have enough length on this bridge lead there's like not a lot there not a lot what do we got for comments i've got i see you. phil's writing on there yeah i just i got a who's where is it okay So Bam points out, if you can borrow a guitar to try it out before you buy, that's a much better route to do. That's true. <laughs> so, why did you just kick my Because you're in my way. I'm always in your way. Anyway. And Phil says, um, cool man, thanks. I thought it was some kind of sticker similar to the inlay stickers. Didn't think about the protective properties. And yeah, for the neck illusions, that's their like biggest selling point. Is that they are... Oh, that you switched the fucking camera again. Um, <laughs> I'm talking to, over, talking to your amp. Um, yeah, that's their biggest thing, is that they are supposed to protect the fretboard. So, that's... You're right, that's their biggest selling point. And then Bam says, I gravitate to lower output pickups. Anything under 10 and 10K, I'm assuming. For the bridge? Yeah, for the bridge or for the neck. And now I play it, and now I play at home only. I don't really need the active pups to drive the signal through meters and meters of cabling and pedals. Right. Which is that's a true that's a good point. And I only play at home myself. I haven't been in a band in like four years. All right, we're gonna have to use the other pickup ring. Okay. This one. Yep. This is a pain in the dick. Oh shit! Dropped it. Ugh. Technical difficulties. And I need a... I hate... I hate the fact that... There we go. And then Phil said to, at BAM, I have mainly switched to a wireless now, even at home, so I guess I am buffered all the way now. Wireless? Yeah. Yeah. I don't play with the wireless anymore at home. I used to, but it was the POS anyway. Dude, the Line 6 stuff is good. I know, that's what I want to get. The one I had was um, Audio Interface, I think they... Audio Technica? Yeah, Audio Technica, yeah. It was, you know, like a $70 unit. and My, my dad bought it for me. It wasn't like I bought it, it was when I was a kid, but I used it for a long time, and then... It kind of colored my tone, which I didn't like about it. it was yeah, like because it's, it's cheap, right? It's kind of like what they everyone who something I've learned uh, with the ACDC tone. I heard that he used like a certain type of wireless unit that kind of like colored his tone a little bit, and that's why he gets that tone. I don't know. I've never tried getting an ACDC tone before, but I've heard there's some. I forgot the name of it. It was a special wireless unit they don't make anymore, but that's something he used, and it colored his tone i guess on the back and black album or something like that so unfortunately mine did not color my tone in a good way it added gain actually it was weird really yeah it was really strange i really hope that this threads in for a few reasons number one i hate when these aren't phillips oh the the ring screws or the adjuster screws yeah it's like a literal turn off nothing can ever be simple in the guitar world you know what here's a short one on that one i'm gonna switch that over to a long one 
for a few reasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bam says, I do not think that tastes change, so if you decide it's not for you, it doesn't mean it will never be for you. Or, I, I misread. I do think that tastes change, so if you decide it's not for you, it doesn't mean it will never be for you. I also think that sometimes you can make educated guesses to decide, which, yeah, that's true, too. I mean, Eddie Van Halen is a big example of how tastes change. You know, he used to play the Frankenstrat, which is... <laughs> You know, this hacked together guitar, and now he plays Wolfgangs, which are basically just custom Les Pauls in a, in a way. So, there's an example of that, and he plays with the neck pickup a lot more now, and the wah pedal. Who, EVH? Yeah, you know, like, a different kind of truth had a lot of wahs on it, you know. A lot, Dude, well, he had some, like, drop D shit. Oh, yeah, that too, he, he played in lower tunings, and we've... I think the lowest he ever played, though, was the ending of Fire in the Hole. I think that's the lowest he's ever dropped. I think that's drop B. I don't know if anyone knows that song better than me, because I actually do like that song. That's a Gary song. But I think the ending of that song is in drop B, and I think as is is only in drop C, which is still low. But maybe drop C, I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at the music theory thing. I can barely play... Mary what? had a little link. Yeah, so don't don't get on my case too hard. All right. I oh, and then a band said that his when he said he only liked under ten k. That is, he likes that for both the bridge and the neck. That's an interesting choice. Really? Yeah. And then he says, my custom twenty four has eighty five fifteens slash you know eighty five slash fifteens. And the output is 8.64 treble, and bass is 7.83. Hmm. Very specific numbers. I like it. I like that, too. Yeah. That's how I roll. I only get down to the nearest nano thousandth. <coughs> Did you take that second ring off? Did I? Because I, I Where'd think you I... drop the shit? It's right here. Cause I will need it. Yeah, the the ring that I tried. Like the holes this is, were. Wait, this you threw this one on the bed. Did these. What happened? All I need to do is look at the ring and see if it'll work. Oh, I think yeah. This is the other one. This is the one that's just like that. Whatever was on this guitar, that's what I want. What was this? Okay. Because I don't think this one will work. If it does, then cool. <clears throat> nope. Phil Mosley says, I think Eric B. said in my chat the other day that EVH used a bass string on 5150 for the drop D. Um, I've never heard that before, but, um, I know. I've never heard that before, but maybe. Uh, it's... It doesn't, I know that Eddie did some weird things, but from as much as I know, that doesn't, I, I'm not saying what was said is wrong. I, cause you know, obviously there's a lot of misinformation about Eddie and what he did because he's weird and does a lot of weird things, but I, that doesn't sound correct. And this is just my opinion. That doesn't sound correct. Like it just seems that would have been, it would have thrown his guitar for a loop if you would have used a gauge. I don't know. It just seems not like something he would have done, but I could be wrong. So that's always a possibility. Dude, this is a two conductor. Another one's a four conductor. So I wonder if that's going to change anything. Because I basically take a four conductor and turn it into a two conductor by tying the two leads together. Oh, yeah. Like, the, like let's say the white and red on the Seymour Duncan. Right. Well, I think that's what one of them did. Um, that that one's four conductor, right? And the bridge is two. Okay. Well, because the EVH Frankenstein is based off like a, I think it's because it's a more vintage, look, you know, design or whatever they use on it. You know what I need to try and get in a guitar one of these days is I have one of those, one of five hundred signed um, Frankenstrat replica humbuckers, the ones that were done in two thousand seven along with the. Um, 300 replicas of the Frankenstrat. They made 500 relic pickups that are just like the Frankenstrats. Like they were everything down to a T. And Eddie Van Halen signed the back of all of them. And I have one of them. 
And I'd love to hear how that pickup sounds, because that one's supposed to be, like, the most legit one, other than, um, I heard, that's how, um, I think it's Pariah took one of those apart, actually. And that's how they got their pickup to sound really good, which I want to try Pariah really bad. I hear only... Only good things about them. I haven't heard somebody try one and say they hated it. So Jacob Stibby uses them. Um, yeah, he's guys. he's a big part of their. Um, I see him on the social media a lot. Yeah, he uses the Black Star stuff too, and Kramer's. Say what? I, uh, sorry, Hughes and Kettner. He uses the Hughes. And yeah, Kettner he stuff. uses Hughes and Kettner. I was because I thought he played Gibsons, doesn't he? He plays Kramer's and Gibsons. Oh, okay, he plays both. Some uh, there's another Some guy. Epiphones. Yeah, there's another guy I think plays Kramer who's on Pariah's thing. Is it that um Tyler's his name? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta look it up, but let me check the chat again. I know that uh, Phil in the in the chat, if he's still watching. Yeah, Phil has some Kramers. Nice. Bam says um, in regards to his. Um, uh, readings on his humbucker he goes those weren't measured by me personally but there is a there's a list in the prs forum with all the outputs some that have been measured by others and then bam also writes and i think this is in regards to the um evh thing it is possible a light bass set could use the thinnest bass string as the thickest on the guitar and that's that's true i'm just saying and what i know about eddie's like his habits i don't think that would be something he would do i know like on the um foreign lawful carnal knowledge fuck album i know he did use like a six string bass or uh, some nonsense like that on spanked so he does do some weird things like that but i think on the song if what i read the comment is right the 5150 song because that song is in drop d the you know the one string anyway um i just i don't see it i don't see that being something he would have done because i mean the only other previous there's only a couple other songs previous to that song that used drop d and i think he used a standard set of strings um again i don't know if i'll have to look into that one i've never heard it before but it's, it could be true. I'm not saying it's false because I don't know. I'm not going to point fingers and say it's wrong. It just, to me, doesn't sound like something he would have gone out of his way to do like that. Which, again, that also kind of sounds hypocritical because Eddie did a lot of things to go out of his way to do stuff. But you never know. Did you say the song's called Spanked? Yeah. Um, this sh- f- fuck, there's one called Spanked, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't listen to the Hagar stuff that much. They should they should do like a reboot of it called Unspanked. Unspanked. <laughs> yeah, but um Yeah, that's all I have to say about that, so That's all I have to say about that. Well, what the fuck else am I supposed to wrap that up with? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then Phil goes, I am still watching Kramer's Rock. Yes. Hell yeah, do. Phil. Yeah, they do. And then Chris says, I agree with Phil. Kramer's rock. Dude, yeah. I need that Night Swan. Let's be real. Yeah, let's be real. The Night Swan is something we all need. And I forgot you turned that camera back on. Jesus Christ. Were you picking your nose? I Were you know. scratching down? I was down? scratching my balls, maybe. Is it scratching down here, guys? <laughs> my yeast infection. No, I'm just my kidding. Ye- Anyone want sourdough? Anyway. <laughs> I'm sourdough. weird. Hey, I'm weird. <laughs> you guys don't understand how... How weird it gets around here. <laughs> One of the first things he ever said to me was terrible when I met him, so I don't even know if I should say it on YouTube. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. So anyway. Back to the night swan. Yeah, we all we all really need that guitar. Kramer, please. Please, Kramer. Do it. People are starting to get them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just I'm trying to make the meme go longer. I do want them to send one to me. They should. I, I Kramer, send this guy like twenty of each so he can demo all of them. Demo all of them. And I want to see if I can uh, set up a clinic clinic at Motor City Guitar. Yeah. That's Get Marty to like. Yeah, put in an order for dude, like. Dude, those things will sell like hotcakes. Yeah. I mean, people are. 
Well, the two the two satchel pacers mm-hmm. are go- sold like as soon as you. Put I made the, a video and they as were soon sold. as you put the word out, I mean they were gone because I wanted one. <laughs> you know, I was lucky I got mine on Guitar Center used and it's in really good shape, but they had brand new ones. And Jamie basically said a sentence and people bought them all. So. <laughs> Oh. Are we putting a kill switch in this? Yeah, the Tessie. That's, by the way, that's the EVH style yellow one. I don't know if it is LED. Alright, I'm going to get the pickups working first. And then we'll... Yeah, right, right, right. Throw it on. Yeah, the, this guitar is going to have the most work done to it today. It's the one that's been bugging me the most. Not, again, it's not the guitar's fault. It's just kind of the the shit I decided to have put in it. Okay, Bam says, looking on strings direct, the thinnest bass strings on a bass are not always thicker than a set of 11s with a thicker bass set. So, yeah, it, it, it could have been possible. And that's, wh- wherever the information came from, That it certainly could have been possible. Um, I don't know. That's just my guess on that. Phil says, Kramer don't send me guitars, unfortunately, but they are shipping in the UK. Have been for about a month. So that's good news. I think Japan's on the same thing, right? Yeah, Japan's Japan's been getting, getting everything. Them. Yeah, they've been getting them for a little bit. Bam, Ro. I am very surprised by Anderton's, though, Phil. I have not had problems myself, and they have been very helpful to me. Maybe it's because of the size of my order. So, I'm a, did you, like, order a lot or something and they just haven't shipped them all or something like that? Phil replied or said, I'm not sure, I'm not sure when the Night Swan, it, or, I'm not sure in the, I'm not sure the Night Swan has shipped the first batch yet, but the next batch is due in a couple weeks. Okay. Well, I know a few people in the United States have already received them. Yeah. There's been a few people. So, and I'm hopeful. I'm hoping by, like, at least Christmas time. Yeah, I think you know. I think that's a good... I'm hoping that's a mill hit, too. Because, like, I mean... Even the, you know, vintage Kramer bros are like, dude, I need to try that, you know? Because right. they, they really want to compare with the old ones. Yeah, everybody wants to really get into them. And the few people that have gotten them don't really seem to, like post much after they're like oh it came and then they're just they don't say much like i've been looking all over the um forums. posts and forums about it and only a couple people have said really anything about them other than like i said they'll just post to say that they got them <laughs> and then you have your haters on there too <laughs> yeah those people are annoying though. those are the kind of guys that are like i would never drive a dodge or, or- a ford and then <laughs> like it'll be in, in reality nobody cares right they're the guy that just wants to cause controversy to cause controversy trust me i know what that's like at a family christmas when people just say stupid shit piece piss people off yeah dude <laughs> i hate these packages yeah they're not fun oh bam says size in my case was referring to the price Oh, okay. Although I have bought quite a few items in one order, too. Okay. Yeet. I wouldn't think price would delay it, but... <laughs> no. Certainly, maybe. I don't know. I just want to see good quality. Right. And, uh... That's the big thing they got to prove, is the quality on these, which, you know... I don't think it'll be too difficult. No, it shouldn't. I think lips are starting to get chapped. That sucks. <laughs> At least your ass isn't getting chapped. Yeah, that's true. Yeet. How about assless chaps? You can one of those if you want. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Dude, I have to do so much. All right, Darren. I don't, I mean, he did this, this, Jamie here is like awesome because he doesn't make me pay him thousands of dollars to do this. So unlike Guitar Center where it's like, 
You have to wait two weeks. Yeah, wait two weeks, pay $350,000 on a 20% deposit, and I don't know. just And then bullshit. they suck at what they do. Yeah, then they suck, exactly. I think it was you. You fixed their freaking... They, I had them do a wiring and... Um, that pacer, the white pacer I have, the classic or whatever they call it, and they just botched the wiring. It looked horrible, and I think you were the one who fixed it. So, dude, the difference going through this in comparison to that guitar is just that thing is like dense as shit. I well, that's what I'm saying.